My name is Jay Stuckervetz, and I've been a blacksmith and bladesmith for the better part of the past two decades. I'm the demonstrating blacksmith for the Forge Weapons in Mannheim, Pennsylvania, and I can be seen doing demonstrations at the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair and the New Jersey Renaissance Fair. In addition to these two shows, my work can be found at King Richard's Fair in Carver, Massachusetts, the Pittsburgh Renaissance Fair, and also on eBay. When I'm not demonstrating or making product, I teach weekend classes on knife making. Most blacksmiths at some point in their career uh, find the need to have a press, and they want a press that looks something like this, but most of us end up with something sort of like this. Uh, it's an H-frame air over hydraulic press. Uh, they're really just not fast. They don't do anything. They sort of act like this. I've built several presses over the years. Uh, most of them just didn't seem to have the stability that I desired, uh, or the speed, or the power. Uh, so I set out to design a new press, this time overcoming a lot of those obstacles, and I wanted to be able to sit on top of a table or eventually on a workbench in the corner of my shop. So here's the design that I came up with. It's uh, 32 inches tall, 26 inches wide, and about 4 inches thick, and it puts out 30 tons of pressure. So here I am welding a billet of 5160 and 15 and 20. I'm using the flat dies. These flat dies are about six and three quarter inches by three inches wide. Uh, this is just about the maximum amount of surface area that can be used effectively under a press uh, this size. Uh, the next set that I build will definitely be a little bit smaller and it should be able to put out a little bit more uh, force where I need it. In addition to these flat dies, I also have a set of drawing dies which are essentially half rounds and they draw material a lot faster. Now you'll notice the dies are actually on plates that will just slide right out. Uh, makes it very fast for me to change between one die set or another. The other nice thing about it is that I can go ahead and intermix dies. So here I am just narrowing up the billet, making sure that my width is consistent. And just a quick flatten. Now when drawing out my billets, I still like to use my rolling mill. Uh, this particular machine I built about three years ago using uh, McDonald's plans. And I really like it. It's, uh, it's an awful lot of fun to use. Um, but it's definitely one of my priority uh, rebuilds this coming summer. Uh, it's just not as uh, sound as it could be. There's still a few kinks here and there that need to be worked out, but I've always lived with them. Uh, I just really enjoy the way that it 
uh, pulls material out. Unfortunately, the rolling mill is not the best way to set my initial welds, uh, hence the reason for building the 30-ton press. Anyway, thanks again, guys, for watching. My name is Jay Steckervetz. Uh, if you want to read more about this, uh, you can always look up the build in progress uh, on iForge Iron. And uh, I'll put a link at the notation at the bottom of the video on YouTube. Thanks again for watching.